modern tablet size is um, bit fancy so it is just um, the size ranges between 7 inches and um, and 10 but the common ones are 9.7 being the common the, 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 the being the best of all the modern tablet computers the most popular is the iPad invented by Apple in 2010 its screen is 9.7 inches now other computers companies have also uh, invented theirs of course in comp competing with Apple if a tablet uh, if a tablet computer's main purpose is to read uh, electronic books which are known as ebooks copied from the internet uh, the tablet computer is called ebook reader okay it's called ebook reader uh, some of the ebook ebooks e of course Kawa has them you look at geography look at history economics mathematics and many others another company known as Barnes and Noble invented an ebook reader called the Nook um, the largest ebook seller company ebook selling company known as Amazon invented an ebook reader called the Kindle but the Kindle is uh, substandard its screen isn't touch sensitive so the screen is case includes a tiny keyboard but of course Amazon has changed the Kindle's genre has changed change to be a better one the smallest size of a personal computer is called a handheld computer or palm top computer or pocket computer because it fits in the palm of your hand and in your pocket it's about the size of a pocket calculator or a cell phone or a pack of cigarettes <laughs> why am i using this the example of cigarettes but forgive me for those who don't smoke it is uh, uh its screen size is uh, under seven inches with the most popular being like three and a half the typical handheld computer comes with programs that help you to jot notes store phone numbers and keep track of appointments and to do lists uh, that kind of handheld computer is called personal dictor assistant abbreviated as PDA if the PDA also includes a built-in cell phone it's called a smartphone now the fanciest a uh, smartphone is called the iPhone invented by Apple thanks to uh, Steve Jobs um, who died last year but he did a good job <coughs> in the inventing coming up with an iPhone any computer that can be carried in one hand is called a portable computer a modern portable computer is therefore <coughs> a laptop computer or a modern tablet computer or a handheld computer each modern portable computer includes a rechargeable battery so when unplugged from a wall socket it keeps running for several hours traveling with a portable computer is called mobile computing and the computer being transported is called a mobile computer now during the 19th century of course that's the previous century computers were divided into three categories we had what's called the max computer which consumed a whole room and typically cost about three three hundred thousand dollars and two million dollars there was another one called the mini computer which would fit in a room's corner and typically cost about ten thousand to three hundred thousand another one is called a microcomputer which would fit on a disk or a lap or a hand and was embedded in an in a tiny device and would cost about uh, about 10 to 100 to, to 10 thousand dollars so that's how they were classified uh, currently we're still using microcomputers of course now let's say something about max computers or mainframe computers so uh, the max computers were the fastest computers okay and um, the fastest one was called a supercomputer but now microcomputers which cost about ten thousand dollars or less are fast enough to handle most calculations so if you need a computer system that is extra fast you just need to add more memory you just need to buy more components so there is, may not be any need for having a mainframe or supercomputer apart from maybe those organizations which have funds and a lot of work for that but 
uh, the ones we're having in institutions are equally equally fast so study that picture of uh, supercomputer try to analyze it better and uh, understand the way it works it is very very important and so other personal computers of course there are two categories there are the mac and the ibm so imac um, all in one computer so there are two popular types of personal computers these were ibm compatible and macintosh computers the first personal computer was produced by ibm in 1981 and was called ibm pc so here you see the picture of steve jobs uh rest in turn office the founder of i of um, mac okay so you see a picture of uh, uh steve jobs uh, launching the first Mac with the, a graphic user interface in 1984. So in 1984, Apple Computer introduced the, f the the Mac or Macintosh, and it became the first widely sold computer personal computer with a graphical user interface, uh, pronounced as GU. Although both IBM and uh, Apple computers are personal computers. The term PC came to refer to IBM or IBM compatible personal computers. Apple now produces a Macintosh computer called the iMac, which is a desktop computer that features an all-in-one design. It is so this means that uh, all the internal components are located behind the monitor rather than in a tower case where which is customary with the desktops so you just buy it as it is and it has all the components on it um what about the ibm pc ibm invented invented the pc or personal computer way back in 1981 all pcs released since then are in many ways compatible with the with the original design uh, though many extensions have been made so the term PC compatible relates to PCs manufactured by other companies other than IBM which are compatible with the traditional PC specifications. In the early days, most PCs ran an operating system called DOS or Disk Operating System. These days, most PCs are running a version of Microsoft Windows and many, many other uh, services. Many other softwares are running very well on uh, on PCs and uh, the only difference is that um, Mac or Macintosh computers um, are not compatible they don't use they use their own keyboard they use the only software they cannot fit on any other while IBM fits on anything can install their Microsoft uh, programs uh, Linux and many other a simple way above time and space via which man can control the sickness God's people I know Jesus the Nazarene